I'm Winifred Kiyoko Zomo. On Saturday, there was a wedding for my sister-in-law, which was to happen in Kikima, and it happened. I was, I was to attend the wedding, but I decided let the, the boys go with the father to Kikima which is rare because it's a family function. So at 9.30 after doing the, the home duties, they, I listed them at 9.30 because they were to milk, feed the, the chicks, and help me with some children because the, the house will was not around. So we had to decide who is to be left and who is to go. So after releasing them, they were to go to Machakos town to deliver some chicks to a certain customer, which they did after the transaction. They, they left the car, they got from home with the car, family car, and they decided, we decided together. They, they leave the car in the shopping center, the nearest one, Kimangu, so that the boys could have the exposure of public means, which is not very common. So because they were going up country, we decided it's good now they go with public means, they have that exposure because they are growing and not every day they will have the family car. So the boys were very excited with that decision. So they asked me, Mommy, are you not attending Mama Kanashi's? Now they aren't wedding. I told them, I will not make it because there is nobody to to live here. So just go away and may the good Lord protect you all the way. So after reaching Kikima at the church, the father called me and told me we are offline so Put your phone on so that I can send you some videos. We have landed with the boys. And the boys are super happy with the wedding because it was a mass wedding. So I told him I'm a little busy, but just pick the, the best moments. I will talk to Ango Kaka later. When you see Ango Kaka, I will talk to Ango Kaka later. So at around one, he sent for me a clip of just one second. And I told him, do my, do my full video. So he called immediately and he told me, Arusi Tunayo Atuna. Mwambi Arusi Tunayo. Pilau Tuala. So that is the last statement he told me at lunch time there. So he told me now the, the wedding has just started now. They are entering the, the church. So see I relaxed. At least they have arrived safely. So at around four hmm, at around four I just started doing the duties they normally do. So around four, four between four to five, I called the father to the son, and the phone was picked by a stranger person. 
And uh, the person told me that the owner of the phone has been rushed to hospital. There is an accident at Kwambisu. So the accident is very bad and it has injured some people seriously and others have been taken all over in Makueni County and others in Machakos. So please let drivers observe the those what is necessary. We the safety on the the cars and the public means is not worthy the lives of the people. I've lost my husband and my firstborn son, Travis, which is very, very painful. And God will give us the strength and please, whoever is concerned, do the necessary. My husband, Joshua, he was the best ever anybody could wish to have as an husband, according to me. He was a treasure to us, and I always told him, no me without him. And he always told me, there's also no you without me, and there's no me also without you. So he loved us, the boys, so we will miss him and the son is too heavy for us as a family because he's double. Losing a, a father and a son is not easy, but without God, at least he's had one of the sons which I'm grateful to God.